superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found on some day, we will learn to spell words with diphthongs OI and OY. On Monday, we will continue learning about diphthongs OI and OY, and we will learn about the vowel digraph EA. On Tuesday, we'll be reading a biograph about Garrett Morgan and the traffic signal. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about compound sentences. And on Thursday, we will learn how to construct a narrative writing paragraph. We will learn to spell words with diphthongs OI and OY. And the spelling words for this week are boy, join, spoil, boil, coin, and soil. Now we will learn to use the words in sentences. The water began to boil. He joined the English club. When I opened the fridge, I noticed the meat has spoiled. That, bo that boy is smart. Lena collected old coins. Tom lost his favorite toy. She put new soil in the flower pot. The songs OI and OY. The letters OI and OY make the vowel sound in join and joy. So OI and OY make an OI sound. Let's read the words. We have toy and coin. Vowel digraph EA. The letters EA can make the short E sound as in bread or the long E sound as in bead. So it can have an sound or e sound let's read the following words we have eat we have a long e and we have health short e gert morgan and the traffic signal it's a non-fiction biography and people follow traffic signals every day did you ever wonder where the idea where the traffic signal came from? Gert Morgan and the traffic signal tells about the problems of buggy and car drivers in 1920s and one man's plan to help keep the streets safe. So, the targeted reading strategy is to retell the story. The objective is to use the reading strategy of retelling to understand the text and to identify the elements of biography. Compound sentences. A compound sentence consists of two independent clauses or two simple sentences joined together by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. What are the coordinating conjunctions? We have fan boys. So if for, a, and, in, nor, b, but, o, or, y, yet, s, so. Let's read the examples. He was tired. This is a simple sentence. We joined it with another sentence, but before we join it, we need to put a comma and for. He was tired. For he went to bed early. I cooked dinner, comma, and he washed the dishes. So we have two independent clauses joined together by a coordinating conjunction and. And before the coordinating conjunction, you need to add comma. Jane has a red car, comma, but Jill has a blue car. Two simple sentences joined together with a coordinating conjunction, but. And make sure you 
add comma before the coordinating conjunction. Narrative writing. So when you narrate a story, you tell a story. And when you tell a story, you have to tell what is happening. So you need to use transition words like first, next, and last. And you will use also temporal words. Temporal means time. It's a word that refers to time. So temporal words like once upon a time, yesterday, during summer. Narrative writing. So parts of narrative writing, you need to write the title. And which is here, the nature walk. You are using here temporal words like today I went on a nature work with my class around the school. So this is the opening sentence or the introduction. Now, as you can see here, he's using transition words to write the sequence of the story. So first we walked around the playground and I saw the squirrel. Next, we went to the field and walked through the trees. This is next another transition words. Then is another transition word. I looked at a really cool leaf on the ground and I picked it up. The closing sentence, I saw a bunch of cool stuff on our nature walk. So make sure to start it with an opening sentence and make sure to use temporal words. And then you need to write the sequence of the events using transition words. And the last thing, you need to have a closing sentence.